All right, I have been putting this topic off for far too long, and I know a lot of people keep asking it, and so I'm just, I'm gonna do it. Let's talk about how to write not safe for work content using AI. So the reason this I decided to make this now is because Sudorite just came out with a new update that makes this a whole lot easier. And I'll show you first what they did, and then I'll discuss a few other ways that you can write non not safe for work stuff. And then I'll also tell you a quick story about myself that should help you understand my position on this. And, but first, let me just say that like the reason I've been sort of digging my heels in a little bit for this topic is because I actually write clean fiction. And so for one, I didn't really feel qualified to talk about it because I, it's not something I had experimented with. I don't really have to try and get around the Claude or ChatGPT algorithms to try and trick it into writing what I want it to write because most of the time it, want, it writes what I want it to write because I keep it, everything is moderately, for the most point, a like a PG-13, like a Lord of the Rings level PG-13, which can get violent sometimes, but not often enough to really present an issue. And, and so like, that's, that's the reason I never really got into this topic, but Sudorite has come and created this thing. And so I thought I would talk about it. So this is story engine in Sudorite. If you're watching this in the future, it might look a little bit different because I know they're working on a redesign, but the functionality should be more or less the same. We have a brain dump synopsis, characters outline, et cetera, et cetera. And then the new addition that they just added is here you've got of course your story beats input your story beats here and then you got your prose and in prose there is now a new option for unfiltered okay sex violence and horror welcome it says and i'm not going to demonstrate how dark you can go or how explicit you could go with this but yeah but now we have this option here now i did a little digging and found out that they are actually using one of the open source models for this this is mancer's weaver so if you have heard of weaver and i'll talk about weaver a little more in a second that that is the underlying model behind this so it is not using a gpt model or a cloud model and then somehow getting around the restrictions it is using a entirely different model which is why it looks a little different so these first two were generated with Claude here, and this one was generated with the the new unfiltered version. And the prose isn't that bad. It says, it is now my pleasure, boomed a voice that seemed to echo off the ancient stones, to present to you the fairy queen who has graced us with her presence on this momentous occasion. Una's breath caught in her throat as Gloriana emerged from the shadows, her dark red hair flowing behind her like a river of ink. The crowd parted to let her through, and for a moment Una forgot about her own union, lost in the queen's ethereal beauty. Even now, adorned in a simple gown that molded to her lithe frame, Gloriana excluded an, exuded an otherworldly charm. Her pale green eyes, often said to be the color of springtime leaves, see, shimmered in the soft light as she made her way toward them. Una could feel the weight of the queen's gaze on her as she approached, and she shivered slightly, wondering what kind of role Gloriana would play in their lives moving forward. So, you know, very dramatic, uh, a lot like the GPT models, if I'm being honest. Different, but still kind of that dramatic stuff. Not quite as natural sounding as I would say Claude is. I would still say Claude is a better model when it comes to natural sounding language. And, and especially in a creative writing situation like this. But it would be enough to get by. And here's what I would do. If I were writing not safe for work content, chances are the whole thing isn't necessarily going to be not safe for work. There's going to be a scene here or there. And so I would write it with Claude or, or ChatGPT, which in Sudorite translates to most accurate or best pros. And most accurate is the GPT-4, best pros is Claude. I would use one or the other for the bulk of it. And then when you need to you can pause it, let it finish the two beats it's running, and then run the unfiltered for the specific beats that you need. Doing so will actually help it improve the quality of the pros when Mancer Weaver takes over and is doing the unfiltered generation here because it will look at the quality of the text that has come before it and emulate that to some degree. 
So that is why I would write mostly with the better models until you need the unfiltered model. Let me tell you a quick story about this. So, you know, I have no problem with anyone who wants to write excessive blood, gore, you know, sex, whatever. That's not why I, I write clean fiction. It's not because I have anything against those things. It's just because it's what I prefer for myself. And that is that has been the case, not just for books, but also for movies. I, until relatively recently, never even saw an R-rated movie because I just didn't want to. And then, the, But I did on occasion get, if I could find somehow an edited version of that movie where they take the explicit scenes out. I would uh, often get my hands on one of those copies if I could. And there have been various services of questionable legality that have done that. One in particular is called VidAngel. It got through a, a massive lawsuit. Unfortunately, I had to change some things about the way they do things. But that that's an example, right? And I would I would like, you know, I like those things. I, I And I still think there's a market for it and if someone could figure out how to legally do it at scale. There's a big market for that kind of thing, you know, and I remember watching Deadpool. Now, if you've seen Deadpool, you know, it is a very not safe for work movie. You know, when, and when I would tell people like, oh, I got an edited version of Deadpool, they'd be like, so what's left? Like 15 minutes? Actually, quite the opposite. Only about 10 minutes or so had actually been removed from the movie, which surprises people. But what I learned from that is that the actual explicit parts of any good story really don't make up a huge amount chronolog or from from an actual in the case of a book an actual number of words in those explicit sections and the reason i bring this up is because so many people have problems with claude for being too overcensored and things like that but there's no doubt claude is the best for language models right now and I think people are overestimating just how much explicit stuff that needs to be in their book. And so what I would do is I would tone it down in the outline. And so when you go to write the prose, you do like the PG-13 version of it. And then you go in and you actually change a few key scenes to be what you want it to be. And you can use this unfiltered prose generator in Sudorite if you want. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at some others. Novel AI is another one that will do this. So you can input your or copy paste your manuscript into here and slowly guide it. I've talked about Novel AI before. I have a few issues with it still, but the pro the quality of the pros is still pretty good and their ability to generate is really what irks me at the moment. You can't really get very much in one go. But if you are just doing key scenes and spicing it up, then you might not need to do a whole lot of generation. You might be able to just paste everything that happens up to the point where you want things to get a little spicier or darker, grittier, or whatever, and then write those little bits here in Novel AI. The other option is to take a service like Open Router, go to Chat with Models, and here you can interact with all of those models directly. So if we open up their list of models here, the ones that you want, the two that I found to be, well, the three that I found to be the best are Mythomax, which is this one right here. Mancer Weaver here, this is the one that Pseudowrite is using, so you can try that one. It has a slightly larger context window, not anything close to what Claude has, but slightly lar larger, and that's helpful. And then Mistral is the other one that I would try, and all three of those you can write not say for work content in it. None of them are quite at the level of natural pros as Claude, but I do have another video testing them all out so you can see them. They're all pretty good. And obviously, you know, because I don't want this video to be demonetized by YouTube, I'm not going to go into any demonstrations on how to do not safe for work content. But overall, that would be my approach. Do most of the writing in Claude or, G or what, whichever is your preference. And then save those moments that you can either go in yourself and fix them up how you like, or use one of these open source models or novel AI or Pseudorite's unfiltered mode to generate those specific parts for you. Oh, and I will say one more thing. 
Tomorrow I have a huge announcement that I'm going to be revealing to everybody, so be sure to check that out. Come back 7.30 Eastern Time tomorrow. I will be launching that video. I have, yeah, some important things to say, so I'll see you then.